Back to you with another video from Chisel Sports Academy doing strength and conditioning exercises or drills for that matter. Today we're focusing on your agility, your strength and also we're going to do a bit of conditioning. So you see here we're doing some bits of jump and this is just to help with your agility. Each time you make the jump, make sure you're generating all your power from your lower body. Your hands are just there to give you balance and to give you that uplift when you're jumping. So when you're jumping, make sure you're generating all that power from your legs, uh, from your thighs, from your quads, from your, from your hamstrings, from your soleus muscles, also from your butt. These things help too. So make sure you're jumping and also landing on your feet uh, uh, with your toes first, then your sole afterwards. So you see here I didn't jump, I landed on my sole so I started, I was, that's why I wasn't as stable as possible. But if you, jump, when if you jump and land on your toes first, then uh, the soles follow after definitely you're gonna have this ability so focus on this this is something that is more of a behavior so it's something that you can learn over a period of time now with each and every one of these jumps we did we made sure that we're generating as much power when we were taking that uplift from the ground so as much as you can gain a lot of momentum from the ground jump all the way up then make sure you land softly on the ground still trying to gain back that momentum so trying to reduce that momentum going down the next exercise is um, a bit of conditioning so we're going to do around three jumps then three jumps then one puppy so it's more of like two jumps and one puppy two jumps and one puppy we're doing this for three sets and ten repetitions make sure you complete each and every repetition the well the vary for each and every stage that you are in so focus on the places where you are whether you're an amateur or beginner or even a professional uh, that's how your reps are going to increase and your sets will remain between three and four you do the ones you're first comfortable with make sure you're resting between each and every single set so for like 10 seconds or seven seconds then we're going to go to the next session now after the jumping part we do a bear crawl and each time you're doing a bear crawl try and keep as much tension as possible in your lower body if you've noticed to a coach he's trying to keep as much tension with his lower body so his hamstrings his quads and his calves are all activated at once when he's doing the bear crawl this is just to help you learn how to um, Based all your strength from your lower body with any form of general training that you might be having. It's very important that you do these things so that you can risk, reduce the risk of your injuries. Make sure you rest. Rest is very important between the drills. This is the preseason workout, so we are trying to push the body as much as we can, but during uh, the season, as the season is continuing, you kind of reduce probably the reps to like uh, to like seven, and the sets can come back down to like two. Next in line, we have squats, and with the squats, we're trying to keep our stance a wide stance, but it, it is shoulder length. So make sure you're also going as low as possible. But if you can go beneath your knee level, and the stance for the the squats are shoulder length like i said so your legs should be at the same longitudinal line with your hands with your yeah with your shoulders then next was um the jumping squat so the same but try to generate as much power as you can when you're from the gun and jumping all the way up next in line also we have lunges and we're gonna stand in a straight line then one leg goes behind Make sure you're trying to go as slow as possible to create as much tension as you can to your lower body, that is the calves and the uh, hamstrings and quads. So, like I said before, 10 reps, 3 sets. The next in line, we're gonna do jumping lunges. I like to call them that but this ones are mainly to help you with that takeoff part so when you're chasing a when you're a defender and you're chasing a striker or you're trying to reach the strike in time or when you're struck and you're trying to get away from your defenders and create your space this will help you be a bit fast enough so during that takeoff you can easily widen your gap between you 
you and your attackers or defenders. So try to be as stable as you can with each part when you're landing on the ground. Remember I say focusing on agility, we have to build in these places that we might be a bit weak. Or even if you're weak, you're just trying to flash off on these places. So also the other thing to notice is do not let your knee cut. And the next one is side shuffles, but we're gonna do the side shuffles a bit differently. So lower your body into a squat position and shuffle all the way to the end. You can have four coins or five coins between you. You can do that then switch sides and do the same. And the next in line, we're gonna do shuffling to a back and forth. So you're gonna through the gates when you shuffle. You'll just see this in a minute. So yeah, shuffle in and out. Go forward and back again. Side again, forward, back again. Remember with each and every single one of this you try to keep as much tension as possible and make sure to enjoy each and every part. You can do that coming back and now changing. So now you're shuffling at the forefront back you just face him go shuffle the forefront and up and go back to the same line then shuffle forefront and back go back to the same gate and shuffle forefront and back i hope you enjoyed this take care